Uh, Twin Cities Daycare will be closed. Tomorrow's investigators try to figure out how a deadly shooting involved an officer unfolded. Investigators say that two Ramsey police officers answered a call and a suspect was shot to death. No children, staff or officers were hurt, though. It happened in Ramsey and Anoka County, and that is where Susan Elizabeth Littlefield picks up the story. They came quickly, leaving work because of an unscheduled dismissal. My boss just asked me if it was safe, and I said, I don't care. I want to be where my kid's at. I just wanted to get here as fast as I could. I just wanted to have him back. Learning Lodge parents got a call, but they didn't get details. I'll ask questions later. I know that he's safe, and that's what's important. No children were hurt. Commander Paul Summer later answered some questions. He says Ramsey police got an afternoon call from daycare workers that three men had been sitting in their parking lot for a half hour, and it seemed suspicious. So they came to check it out. As they approached the vehicle, one male suspect got out of the car and began running on foot. As the Ramsey officers attempted to pursue and engage the suspect, he pointed a handgun at the Ramsey officers. The Ramsey officers fired on the suspect, striking him. There were several casings left behind, but it's not clear if the suspect fired any or why he and two others, who eventually were arrested, showed up. At this point, I can't tell you if there's any nexus between the daycare center and those suspects or if they just found that parking lot a convenient spot to uh, stop. The BCA is now heading up the case and class has been canceled for Friday. A close call allowing for some extra time together. Mother's intuition or instinct, you just want to be with your kid. Now this is still an active scene hours later. The BCA out here trying to figure out how this situation escalated into a deadly one. There are still many questions they hope to answer by tomorrow. Now I did speak with the director of the daycare center and he says he really wants to applaud his employees. After all, they're the ones who spotted the car and decided to call 911. All right, Susan Elizabeth, thank you. Police in Canada call the sighting of a wanted Minnesota man a false alarm. Investigators in Thunder Bay, Ontario got a call that Ty Hoffman was spotted along with a car with Minnesota plates. But after a three hour search, police say it wasn't Hoffman after all. He's wanted for shooting Kelly Phillips at a gas station in Arden Hills two weeks ago. In St. Paul, police officers shot and killed a man who they say was attacking them. 911 callers say that the man was breaking windows with a pipe around 6.45 this morning near Plato Boulevard and Wabasha Street. When police arrived, they say the man threw large rocks at them and punched an officer who tried to arrest him. A second officer shot and killed the man when he charged at that officer. The shooting is under investigation.